down to the pine tree. Hi everyone, so one of the features that's recently been added to the Speedwindow firmware is the ability to read from uh, a flex fuel sensor or an ethanol content sensor as they're sometimes known. Um, this is to allow the use of um, E10 and E85 type fuels uh, and make the appropriate fueling and ignition adjustments um, as that fuel gets blended in. So what I've got here today is just a little bit of a test rig. Um, I've got a, a system pumping some fuel around. Uh, I've got a standard GM Continental Flex Fuel Sensor here, uh, a scope, and just an Arduino um, or Speedduino test rig over at the side, uh, running the latest firmware um, that's hooked up to the ethanol sensor. Um, now on the scope, we see this reading at about um, the, the standard 50 hertz range, which is um, zero ethanol content. Um, there is a little bit of residual ethanol in the lines, um, which is still getting pumped around from my previous testing, um, but it's sitting roughly at zero at the moment. I've got some E85 fuel here, um, which I'm just going to tip in. Now, it does take a second for this system to mix the fuel through, but when I do that, we should be able to see the ethanol content begin to rise in a moment, and the pulse width and spark advance should increase as well. Now the amount that those are changing is obviously configurable within um, Speedwinner's firmware, um, but these are the default settings at the moment. So that's sitting somewhere around the 35% ethanol. We'll put the rest of this in. Expect that to get up somewhere around 50% ethanol, I would think. So that's steady out running just, just below 50% ethanol at the moment based on that mix of um, standard uh, E90, uh, sorry, um, 91 octane and E85 fuels. So that's all I wanted to show today. Um, that feature is available in all the, the stable firmwares for, from Speedduino from November onwards. Thanks everyone for watching.